that's the most important thing. Wind was uh, 210 at 10, I think you said. So 21 is only 30 degrees off 24, so you're going to have a quartering headwind from your left when we land. Okay. So almost uh, identical to what you just had. Different place, same uh, problem. So it is uh, time to make the radio call. So where are we? We are We're about 12 miles. 12 miles to the south, inbound landing, 2,000 feet. So ready? We got to put the freak in there first. Power is 120.7. There you go, and flip-flop switch, perfect. Trenton Tower, 62862. Trenton Tower. Trenton Tower, 62862, uh, 9.5 to the south, inbound, landing with information, x-ray, we're at Skyhawk, 2,000 feet. Going to tell us what 62 on the left traffic on the 24, port midfield downwind. 6262, runway 24 will report a left midfield downwind. Thank you. Okay, so that's it, brother. All right. As long as we don't do anything stupid now, we are in contact. We're we, we still have uh, eight and a half, 8.6 miles to go. We're done everything we got to do until we get to midfield left downwind for runway 24. Here's what we don't have, a clearance to land. So I've actually been here with a flight instructor, not me, with my flight instructor many years ago where we actually reported the left downwind or whatever and we turned base and turned final and landed and the guy said, you do not have a clearance to land. And that was true. I don't know what they were doing, but... Um, that is the one thing we do not have right now is a clearance to land. We do have a clearance to enter the class delta, don't we? Do you request it or do they no. do you have to wait? Well, I'm not landing until I hear him say 62862, cleared to land, runway 24, right? Those are the most important words. Um, we can talk about that when we land, but it is not impossible that they could get so busy with ground and I, um IFR arrivals and student departures and other things that they could forget or not be able to clear you to land and you do not have clearance to land. We are cleared into the airspace though, right? Yeah. Okay. So, midfield, left downwind. So we're going to be on the left downwind no matter what. There's runway 24. You're pointed to the middle of the runway. Runway 24, we're going to, we're actually on a 45 when we get to midfield. We're going to make a 45 degree turn. You'll be on the Left downwind for 2-4, then we're going to turn base and final. We're going to land the plane. He's going to ask me how the landing is going to terminate. I'll probably tell him uh, I'd like to have the option for a touch and go. Otherwise, he's going to an anticipate that it's a full stop taxi back. Uh, what's the field at altitude here? So our traffic pattern here, I believe, is about 1,200 feet, but we can check. Pattern altitude is 1,213 feet. All right. Tell me when you want to bring it down. Uh, and you asked me what the field elevation is, so I should verify that. Uh, it is 213 feet, but we're just double checking. Okay, so everything's good. You can uh, you can start heading down to 1,200 feet. You need to be at 1,200 feet when you get over that hangar that's right in front of us there. So I'm, I think I'm going to ask them for a touch and go unless you want to taxi back for some reason. Yeah. The problem with taxiing back here on this airport, just take my word for it, is if you land long, we could spend 10 minutes taxiing back here. This is a very circuitous route. Um, it doesn't look too busy right now, so that probably wouldn't happen, but I've been here before where they take you around the entire perimeter of the airport to get back to 2-4 departure. Let's, uh, we'll request the option for a touch and go. He's going to ask me that when we get up here on the downwind. So, this is it, man. As long as you can visualize in your head that we're on a 45 for runway 24 right now. Getting set up back there is the key to success here, just like when you're flying the pattern, the key is being all ready on the downwind. So everything else, we're just going to do normally, right? Yeah. The uh, checklist for arrival is going to be making sure your light's on. There's not a lot in this plane. Fuel's on both. Mixture's full rich. Flaps are up, and carb heat's off for the moment, and we have all our lights on.
All right, coming up on 1200. Okay, so when you get to 1200, level off and expect the radio call. He may tell us something or I may have to notify him, but we don't want to get too close to the airport. The tower is down there on the, uh, don't turn yet. Let's get a, this, this is a visual illusion, but we're still a mile and a half from the airport or mile at least. And we're not midfield yet, but we're close. You can probably turn your downwind now and watch your altitude. I'm just going to pull back a hair and add some, just a touch of power to get yourself slowed up. So let's go ahead and turn. Trenton Tower 62862 reporting midfield left downwind for runway 24. Here's just runway 24, number one, clear to land. 62862, clear to land, 24, and uh, we'd like to uh, have the option for a touch and go. What's your uh, direction of departure on the go? Departure's going to be uh, southbound to November 1-4. All right, you're clear, touch and go, reaching 1,200 feet on the go, proceed on course. Okay, touch and go, and we'll proceed on course uh, after 1,200 feet. Thank you, sir. Okay. We have a cleared to land, right? You heard that? We're landing on 2-4. Yep, and that is runway 2-4. You see it, right? I see it. Okay, watch your descent rate. Let's get some flaps in, brother. This guy's a fast talker, so we don't want to... We don't want to have to take any instructions from him. I'm going to point you out here a little bit because you're pointing yourself in yeah. a little bit too close. So just hold that right there. There's a beautiful descent rate. Grab some more flaps and that's going to just get you a little better set up. Uh, so that's about 45 degrees behind you. Let's go ahead and turn base. We're at 800 feet. Your power is set at 16 and a half. So okay. maybe make it 17. And Keep an eye on the runway, because I can't see it as well as you can. Your airspeed looks great. You're at 72. We're pretty close. See that big white thing at the end of the runway, before the runway? Yeah. That's the EMOS. Let's get our flaps in. I'm going to grab those for you. Take a touch of power out, because we're a little bit high. We're at 650 feet. That's the EMOS, and that is styrofoam with concrete on it. Oh, cool. If you land in that, we have a huge bill. Okay, so that was a little bit, a uh, little bit of wind there. So let's get lined up here. Let's not turn too much. Let's just, there we go. You got plenty of time. Okay. So there's some wind pushing you that way. Yeah. Um, One red is, light? Yeah, we're, this is no problem. So if you land in that EMOS, and somebody did it already, a uh, little bit of power here right, now. Right, tower, 6, 6, 6, 9, 6, join right down. A little power, a little power. There you go. Now let's hold this. We're going to try and land on the uh, thousand meters. Back on the two four, you're clear. We got wind coming two across, four, so lots of right rudder. Six, lots of right six, rudder. Nine, Beautiful. Lots of right rudder. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. It's more. There you go. Now start working the power back, all the way back, and all the way back, because we got to land because we're doing a touch and go. Whoa. Uh, wasn't perfect, but let's get rid of these flaps. And full power. Okay, so we were already cleared for the touch and go. Let's get out of here. Let's get back over the center line of the runway. That was a pretty big crosswind. Yeah. And you can see when now we're in an open airfield here. So we got flaps up, carb heat off, mixture full rich, airspeed is 75. And I feel like we're trimmed up the hair, so it's your plane. Let's crab into the wind and use the ailerons to control our direction out. Do you remember what his instructions for us were? Uh, departing to the south. He said to climb to 1200. 1200. And then you can proceed on course. Okay. So, I don't know what you got in here, but if you look over here, my magenta line, we'll be at 1200 after we cross the river. R5 there. So there's a lot. Even though the wind was only 10 knots, we have a really big, wide open field there, and uh, I had my foot to the floor almost. And I'm going to own up to one mistake. I didn't put carpet on. That I saw that. That's okay. We're still alive. I saw that when I went to go for the. Uh, I was wondering why the fire was coming back as fast. Yeah, it makes it, you know, it's 50 knots, or uh, sorry, 50 RPMs different, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's 850. He said uh, proceed on course at 1200. So he gave you some really good instructions. He might be having a sandwich or something and doesn't want to be bothered, or he just he might be doing some paperwork or taking care of some IFR uh, clearances on a different uh, frequency right now, and he just doesn't want to have to deal with you. 
He might be working by himself tonight and doing ground and power and clearance delivery, so. I think your clock's about at 10.27. Oh, shit. Sorry. Every time I touch this thing, <laughs> something bad happens, so I'm just going to reset right. it. 1,200. Okay, so you can turn on course, and our co on course heading, uh, you can go ahead and turn uh, to the left here, and I'll give you a direct flying W, activate. Our on course heading uh, should be about 186. I'm not going to know exactly until, I'll tell you when you get there. Our DG is probably off a little bit, but got about five degrees, and level off right there. That's your heading. Beautiful. Let's reset our uh, DG from our track. I got 183 as my track. Sure. That's actually pretty close to this. So maybe this is only off on certain headings. Compass correction cards probably on the back or something. Yeah. So 185 and 186, this looks good. Looks like we're Perfect. pointing towards... Yeah, just go a little bit to the right, about five degrees, and you're going to be on course. And so I'm almost out of his airspeed, airspace, so when I get to the limit, he may, be, he may come on and tell me uh, to go ahead and change now. As soon as he says frequency change approved, we're going to get back on the flying W frequency. So we'll do a bunch of these, but it's really, you just have to get in the rhythm. Radio cold call first. Make sure he's not too busy. He wants to talk to you. Then you're going to tell him that you're who you are, where you are, what your altitude is, what kind of aircraft, that you're inbound for landing with information, Zulu. It's five things. It's pretty much all they want to know. Sometimes they'll give you a squawk code. 